just a normal family. A little awkward, sometimes weird, loud and crazy. Wait, did I say normal? Oops, my bad. Stick around. Get to know us. We have Cheyenne and Tyree. This is Savannah. I'm Michelle. And this is The Shell Bill Life. Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday. Yes, I still look like this. No, I have not gotten my hair done yet. But anyway, I am at home today. I'm not going to go anywhere because I'm going to tackle the dining room and get that taken care of as far as putting a primer on the wall. I mainly did the bathroom here and there when I felt better. So I'm going to do that. But for breakfast first, I'm going to have Jimmy Dean sausage and pancake. I just bought it frozen at Costco, Winco, one of those places. And I'm gonna have my coffee and then I'm going to tackle this room right here, you guys. Oh, let me show you guys something. So remember how I was doing like a lighter brown? Well, I don't like any of these. So I found two that I think I like. And I know it's really hard for you guys to tell through the camera, but I like this one. It's called Jodhpur Tan or Jodhpur Tan, something like that. And then this one is called Cappuccino Froth, but I think it's a little bit too dark. And so I placed it in different areas around the house, like over here. Once again, you guys probably can't tell, but with certain colors, they have other colors mixed in it, whatever. And because they told me about this, on this one right here, it has a reddish undertone or whatever you want to call it. I can see it, I can see it, but as I'm looking through the camera, you can't see, you can see only brown. So I think this is a little bit too dark, but I really like this. I don't know, you guys, I still have not picked out a color. For, and then I put it over here and then a couple places down the hall. So yeah, it's still a work in progress. I have not picked the color, but of course I will let you guys know when I do. Hello everyone. I just now picked up the camera again. I have not been consistent lately, but you guys, you know, I'm not feeling very well. I was doing good though for a minute when I started vlogging again, but then I got sick and then things got a little chaotic. So yeah, anyway, I wanna show you guys my dining room. It's still a mess, so ignore everything. And usually, okay, you guys, when I start a project, I should really take before pictures, like completely before pictures because I didn't do it to this room. I just jumped in and started, but just remember the green walls, okay? I did all the way up there, but not the very top because I am so afraid of standing up on the ladder, you guys. I have such a fear of heights. I did not do the privacy glass yet because I just didn't. And then that's not done yet. And then there's an area up there that's still green because Tyreek is at work. So he said once he comes home from work today, he's going to get up there and paint that for me. And then, yeah, so all of this is now primed. I'm gonna have him do that up there also so we can get the parts that's still green that I was afraid to get up too high to touch. I don't know if you guys can see that up there, but yeah, you guys, this is my dining room before. Completely ignore all the mess. There is no dining room table anymore. It's a hot mess in here. Yep, he's doing what I was too afraid to do. How's it feel being up there, Tariq? Weird. It's weird. <laughs> That's a weird spot to be in. No, you're not gonna start sitting up there. You know what, when I get this place like fixed up, this area, I should put like something up there, like vases or I don't know, something. What do you couch. think? A couch? No, it's not a place to sit. No, no, no.
that's probably not safe. Ta oh my gosh, Tariq. I'm here, Okay, you guys, it is much later. I'm so tired, and yes, I wear a hoodie in the house in the winter time. That's just me. We all do it. So yes, the last few vlogs, you guys have seen me like this, because that's just how I roll in my house in the winter. It's almost 11 o'clock. I'm really tired. My throat is hurting. I'm tired of coughing. I don't feel sick at all. I'm just tired and I'm tired of coughing. The cough is just lingering and um, I have a runny nose and yeah, all that good stuff that comes along with the cold. It's just lingering forever. So all of my green walls are gone. I just have to find a paint that I like. I really thought I was going to like one of the two that I put on the walls. Anyway, um, when Tariq was priming the higher parts for me, he asked me what color I wanted and I told him I don't know and I said well when I do decide I'm going to do most of it but I was going to ask someone or pay someone that I know to come and do the bolted ceilings, the part where it's too high for me to reach. And he said, Mom, I'm right here. If you're going to pay someone, pay me to do it. And I started thinking about it. And I'm like, well, if you can prove to me that you can reach the highest part. And he got on a ladder and he showed me. And he did it with ease. And I'm like, hmm, yeah, why not pay my son to do it? If I was going to pay someone else to do it anyway, I could just pay my son to do it. Even though he should do it for free. <laughs> but no, I'll pay him to do it if that's the case, you know. Why not? So yeah, I guess I won't have to ask anyone to paint the vaulted areas of my wall, if that makes any sense. I'm so tired, you guys. I'm hungry, but then I'm not. I have not had an appetite, but I'm holding on to the weight. I haven't really lost anything. I don't know, I'm just tired. Oh, so a friend of mine, she lives in Lancaster. Um, she has a three-year-old son. He was three and a half, actually, and he was born special needs. Well, he passed away last Thursday, and the funeral was today. We were going to go just for like a one-day trip and go there and be there for the funeral or whatever, but we just decided not to. They had it on Facebook Live. We were able to watch it that way. But yeah, he was three and a half, and like I said, he was special needs. Um, he always had to have a nurse around him. He was on one of those breathing tubes that was in the neck. The day he was born, I guess he was big as a soda can. I did not expect him to live through the day. And so he lived three and a half years, and every time he would stop breathing or something would happen, they would call 911, and they would, you know, send a helicopter out and life, what do you call that, lifeline or whatever. He would ride in the helicopter to the hospital. Well, this time in L.A., it was like hailing or light snowing and a lot of the phone lines were out. Verizon and T-Mobile and AT&T and stuff like that. A lot of the phone lines were out. It took them a long time to get through to 911. Took forever to get to them because of the weather. And yeah, so he passed away. And yeah, I do have a card I'm going to send to her though. So yeah. Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday. Just made my coffee. I'm going to drink my coffee, um, do what I need to do, and then get ready for church. Okay, so I'm back home. It's it's 5.30, and the girls, and Evie's staying the night tonight because they don't have any school tomorrow, but Savannah, Cheyenne, and Evie, they went to the Stockton Church tonight. Um, I just didn't want to go, and plus, I feel like I need to be inside to still recover. Even though I don't feel sick, you guys, the stinking cough just won't go away. So, I don't know, I just feel I need to be inside the house. And Tyreek, I think, is at the library, he said. So, this is one of the rare occasions that I'm home alone, and I'm loving it. I remember last year, this time, and especially the year before, I was like so dreading when my kids moved out. It was like, oh my God, I don't ever want them to leave until they get married. Now, it's like, 
okay. <laughs> I'm not kicking them out or anything. I'm just saying I'm at the point where a parent gets to. We love you kids. We love you with all our heart. But I am at the point to where I am like, okay, you know what? When you decide to move, I'm not going to cry. I'm going to be sad because I won't see them every day. But hey, that's the next phase of life. Anyway, I'm cooking dinner. All right, so... This is the okra that I made. I made it differently this time. I mean, I made it still the same, but usually I put imitation crab in there just to give it the crab flavor. This time, in addition to that, I put actual crab in there and there's sausages in here and chicken and I take off the skin of the chicken. And what else did I put in here? Um, this time I put in actual shrimps. So yes, that is going to be for dinner tonight. And then in my rice pot, the rice is done. Dinner is about to be ready. Okay, you guys, so I'm having the hardest time trying to pick out the perfect color for my dining room and my hallway. Everything I get, I don't like. So the swatches, of course, they look different than they do on a wall. That's why, you know, you get the sample paint. So this right here is supposed to be this middle one here. And I know it's hard to see through the camera, but if you were actually here, this has like a reddish hue to it, and so does this one. And this one right here is called is it Jodhpur tan, Jodhpur tan, something like that? That middle one right here. So that's supposed to be that shade right there. So I don't like them because they are, I don't know, I just, I really don't like it. And then the one that I got today, it really looks pink. Um, it's called Taupe Tease. I'll of course wait to see what it looks like when it's dried, but this is supposed to be it right here. But that doesn't look like that. Okay, so I am on Pinterest and I'm trying to show you guys. I wish I would have, I swish, I wish I would have saved the picture that I found. I don't want to keep getting paint samples because it's like anywhere from three to five bucks for the little jar of paint sample like this. So I don't want to keep spending the money on that. I really actually thought one of these was going to work out. And it's not. Yeah, I don't know, you guys. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know what color to pick. Because I can't go forward until the painting's done. So I want something that's kind of like light brown or tan. But I don't want it to be too dark. I don't want it to be too light where you can't see the color. But I want something calming that's not going to be really, really bright like these kitchen walls here, which I am going to repaint, you guys. But, yeah, I don't know what to do. Because I really thought that this one that I got today was going to work. And maybe I shouldn't be disappointed yet because it has to dry. They did tell me that this range of colors that I picked, these here have like a hint of red to it. So that's probably why I see blue when I look at gray because when they mix the paint, gray, blue is in there. So I think that's the reason why I see blue unless it's dark gray. So I don't know, maybe, I don't know you guys. I'm just not confused, I'm just frustrated because I really thought like, oh, by the end of the week, I'm going to know exactly what paint I want and I'm going to go get it. I'm going to start painting my walls in the dining room and the hallway. And now I'm not so sure. So I don't know, you guys. I don't know what to do. I know I need to find a paint color, that's for sure. But everything I get, I don't like once it gets on the walls. Good morning. It is Monday morning. It is a little bit after nine o'clock. I should still be asleep. Today is my day off, the holiday, a day to sleep in. But Tariq was opening up the door and I kept hearing my alarm go off. Well, not the alarm go off, but every door and window of my house, um, even like the bathroom window is connected to the alarm. So anytime something open, 
it chimes. So I kept hearing that and I'm like, what in the world is going on? So I get up and he's like, mom, I'm just cleaning out my car. And I'm like, but you're waking everybody in the house up. So yeah, I'm just up. I don't have a whole lot to do today. Um, at six o'clock, I am going to get my taxes done. Now that I am up, I started laundry and I need to clean my room. All right, I have to put you guys there so it won't be so wobbly. Um, because I don't have you connected to my little thing here. So, anyway, I am, I just got gas. It is freezing out here. It's, I realize I have to print out some papers for uh, my taxes this evening. So, might as well just get everything done now. And I am pulling into Home Depot because hopefully, you guys... I can finally find something that looks good in the house. I have this weird fascination with Home Depot. I love Home Depot, probably because I get a lot of my paint and items from here to redo my house or to fix it up. But I do, I love Home Depot. When I pull up, I get like this excited feeling, but yeah. It is so cold. Okay, gotta park here. My car is small, even though it's big, if that makes any sense. And I can park in compact, but sometimes I choose not to, so. All right, you guys. Okay, so I got three different kinds, not three different kinds, but three different samples. Um, we'll see. So. The same lady who helped me last time helped me again, but she asked someone else. So the color range that I was choosing, those had more of a of a red undertone to it. She said if I want to go brighter or the brown that I actually want, light brown or beige, I need to go with something with more of a yellow undertone. So it looks different in light. I don't know. Anyway, this middle one. You guys really can't tell because the sun is really bright on it. Anyway, I'll show you guys once I get home and put it on the walls. Hopefully, this is the last time I have to get samples. This is just crazy. Spending way too much money on samples of paint that I'm just going to throw away. I don't have any use for it at all other than trying to figure out what I like on my wall. Hello, everyone. So, it is today's Tuesday after work and... Yes, I'm still talking about these stinking wall covers again. So I was not happy with paint samples that I got from Home Depot and I cannot find the right shades. I went to Lowe's today and I found two different kinds. Um, one is called Cream in My Coffee and the other one is called Hop Sack. And I know I said this before, but I honestly think you guys, when these dry, it's gonna be one of the other and I will show you guys whole hallway and my dining room everything looks like a makeup palette you know how you put the lipstick on or whatever different shades to see I'll show you guys it's crazy so I have all these right here and I write when I get ready to paint I write on the walls because it's gonna get painted over anyway so I can remember what shade is there or what color is there so I'll show you guys in a different area. Okay, so over here, and I think I said this before, these three right here give off a pinkish hue, and I don't like that. This one is a little bit, not enough color in it. This one's too yellow, and so is this one. So I got this one, and I know it's coming off yellow on the camera, but if you actually look at it, it's not. This one's called Cream in My Coffee, and this one up here is called Hop Sack. And I really think between this one and this one right here, I have found the color. I really do think so. I hope so. I hope it isn't like one of these and dries way differently. So we'll see you guys. I really think I have a color. I will let you guys know. And I also have it marked here because you're supposed to put them in different areas of your house so you can see the light how it reflects. So this is cream of my coffee again, and this is the hop sack. I'm really liking this one. And then in my hallway, I have it right there, right there, and right there. So 
I'll let you guys know which one I will finally choose. I really think you guys, fingers crossed, that one of these two colors will be the color I will choose. Good morning. It is Thursday. Super early. I'm making my coffee. It smells so good. And I leave in 15 minutes. It's so tired, guys. So I'm getting ready to go, and I just realized it's not as dark right now as it normally is. And there she goes, way off into the distance. It's 628, and I just wanted to show you guys that the moon is still out, really bright. So you guys, I am home from work. I love getting home super early, still having the rest of my afternoon and evening. So you guys, I have finally decided on a wall color as after, let's count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, actually 12 because there was three on that side that I primed over it again to start over. So out of all these colors, remember I was telling you guys that these three, even though nice colors, they bring like a reddish or pink hue in my house. Where is it? Where is it? Right here, I think it is, no? Where is it? Oh, right here. It's called Manchester Tan, and I guess this is really popular in people's houses. People love to get it. Although nice, it's too dark for what I'm trying to go for. So you guys, I am going to get this right here. It's actually called Cream in My Coffee, and I know, I think on the camera, it kind of picks up a yellowish tint, but it's like a cream brown color, but it's really pretty. I cannot wait to get started on painting that, you guys. Mm -hmm. 